Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. Yes, that's right, we're cracking open two MTG Unpacked chaos mystery boxes. These are my vision for how a mystery box should be. And let's introduce the patrons here. We have Cody Danielson and Steppley. And to do the pack blessings, we have Nissa here, so she will maybe, possibly, perhaps get us the crazy pulls. Alright, so let's roll the die. So one through four, we're going to pick for Cody. Let's see what we get. So four, grab that one for you, sir. And then one to three or four to six for Stippley. That was a five, so let's see, this one right here. All right, so set these aside and get cracking. All right, so we'll start off with Cody. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's see what I put in this one. Alright, lay out the packs. So we've got an Ultimate Masters Kaladesh 2015 corset. Nice foil planeswalker. We'll take a look at that in a moment. 2015 corset, another one, Magic Origins and War of the Spark. So this is how we do the pack blessings. Alright, so we'll leave that one till last. We'll go 2015 Origins like that. See how that'll work. Okay, and then this is a pre-release card. So we have Nissa Vastwood Seer, Legendary Creature Elf Scout, 2-2 for 3 mana. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control 7 or more lands, exile Nissa, then return her to the battlefield transformed under her owner's control into Nissa Sage Animist. All right, so this is Planeswalker Nissa, three loyalty, a plus one, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand, her minus two. Put a legendary 4-4 green elemental creature token named Ashaya, the Awoken World, onto the battlefield. And minus seven, untap up to six target lands. They become six six elemental creatures, thus still lands. Fantastic foiling on that one. So we'll set that aside for Cody and get cracking here. So we start off with Magic Origins. See how we do today. We had some pretty crazy pulls last couple of days, so I'm hoping we can continue that streak. We have Thornbow Archer, Cobble Brute, and Shrouding Mist, Weight of the Underworld, Yeva's Force Mage, Maritime Guard, Leaf Gilder, Alchemist Vial, Ring Warden Owl, Bellows Lizard, and Uncommons, Eros' Champion, Call of the Full Moon, Consoles Lieutenant, and rare is Talent of the Telepath. So it's a sorcery for th four, actually, I nearly said three. Target opponent reveals the top seven cards of his or her library. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from among them without paying its mana cost, and that player puts rest into his or her graveyard. And it has spell mastery. If there are two or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, you may cast up to two revealed instant and or sorcery cards instead of one. Good deal. All right. And an island and a demon token. Okay, so that was Origins. Next up, 2015 core set. Maybe we'll get an Ajani here. Is Ajani in this set? Leave a note in the comments if you know about that. Next we have Lava Axe, Tireless Missionaries, Glacial Crusher, Clearer Path, Ranger's Guile, Typhoid Rats, yes! Love the rats. These guys have Death Touch, Rune Claw Bear, Necrobite, Invasive Species, Uncommon's Dark Steel Citadel, Leeching Sliver, Dissipate, and the rare is Chief Engineer, Creature of a Dalkin Artificer 1-3 for 2, Artifact Spells you cast have Convoke, 
So that means your creatures can help cast those spells. Each creature you tap while casting an artifact spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's colour. Alright, and a... Oh, nice! Foil rare Hornet Queen. Creature Insect 2247. Whoa, with Flying and Death Touch. When it ends the battlefield, put four 1-1 one, one green Insect Creature Tokens with Flying and Death Touch onto the battlefield. That seems pretty fun. And a Swamp... And a Jace Bellerin info card. Very nice. All right. And if you had not gathered already, the patrons will get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. And I'll do a uh, price check during editing in case I miss something. All right. Next, War of the Spark. We have Turret Ogre, Ironclad Crowbod, Vivian's Grizzly, Spark Reaper. Sahili's Silverwing, Obnixilis' Cruelty, Totally Lost, Lorun Enforcer, Burning Prophet, Relentless Advance, and Uncommon's Rubble Belt Rioters. Bond of Flourishing, Heartwarming Redemption, and you know that means it's a rare or mythic planeswalker. We have Ral Storm Conduit. Legendary Planeswalker Rao, 4 loyalty for 4 mana. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, he deals 1 damage to target opponent or Planeswalker. Plus 2, scry 1, minus 2 when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn. Copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's a bit of a mouthful. And a forest and a citizen token. Alright. Another pack of 2015 core set. So doing pretty decently so far. We've got that foil rare. Okay, we get Research Assistant, Lava Axe, Divine Favor, Void Snare, Shaman of Spring, Child of Night, Radiant Fountain, Festigloom, Elvish Mystic, Crippling Blight, Military Intelligence, first the Uncommons, Capture Kite Fins, Creature Fish, I guess it's a Flying Fish. Battle Mastery, and the rare is Caves of Koilos. It's a land, you can tap it for one colorless mana, or tap, add white or black to your mana pool, and it deals one damage to you. All right. And an island, and an info card about magic decks. There you go, if you did not know that already, that should be very useful info. Next, we have Kaladesh. And one of these days, if we open enough, we're going to get one of those juicy special foil cards. You know what I'm talking about, people. Starting off, we have Thriving Grubs, Creature Gremlin. See him hiding under the carriage there. Eddie Trail Hawk, Dukara Scavenger, Welding Sparks, Larger Than Life, Bastion Mastodon, Revoke Privileges. Renegade Tactics, Self-Assembler, Uncommons Make Obsolete, Voltaic Brawler, Experimental Aviator, and a Blooming Marsh. Nice. And his Vodafone tapped. Unless you control two or fewer other lands, you can tap for black or green. And a Foil, Nature's Way. Very cool. And an Island... And a servo token and no other crazy pulls from that one, alas. Okay, final pack for this box and then we'll move on to Stephalies. See if I can pull the tab here. Alright, what have we got today? Always fun to open this. This is getting quite crazy expensive so I'm going to have to cut back on Ultimate Masters unfortunately. We start off with a Spark Elemental, a Foil Ancestors Chosen. Nice foiling on that one. And the rare is Sublime Archangel. Creature Angel 4 3 for 4 with Flying and Exalted. So whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Other creatures you control have Exalted. Alright, who is an Angel fan? Leave a note in the comments. And then we have an Appetite for Brains. Hero of Lena Tower, Apprentice Necromancer. Moving on to the commons. Soltai, Skullkeeper, Faith's Fetters, Skywing Avon, 
Prey Upon, Crow of Dark Tidings, Defy Gravity, Martyr of Sands, Undying Rage, Runom Unicorn, Souls Fire, and that is it. All right. So let's move this stuff out of the way here. So thank you for being a patron, Cody, once again. We'll stuff this set of cards into your pack and move on to Stippley. Alright, so... Digging in here... Oh, okay, this was one of the Zendikar packs, that's pretty cool. Kaladesh, Hour of Devastation, another Planeswalker, Magic Origins, two of those, and War of the Spark. So we will do the pack blessings like so. Okay, so I'll leave Zendikar for last, we'll have Kaladesh, but Origins, Hour... Like so. We'll start off with Magic Origins. Oh wait, no, before I do, you want to see the foil, don't you? You're like, what about the foil? What are you doing? Okay, so here it is. It's a pre-release card. Foil. Nissa who shakes the world from War of the Spark. Five loyalty for five mana. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. Her plus one put three, one one, plus one, plus one counters on up to one target non-creature land you control, untap it, it becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature with vigilance and haste that's still a land, her minus 8. You get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Okay, so that is a pretty powerful ultimate there. Okay, now we can crack the packs. Magic Origins, getting the cart before the horse there. Okay, what do we got? Infernal Scarring, Elvish Visionary, Artifice's Epiphany, Lenoir Empath, Kythian's Tactics, Girapur Gearcrafter, Undead Servant, Dreadwaters, Nissa's Pilgrimage, and Uncommon's Meteorite, Gnarl Root Trapper, Anchor to the Ether, and there is Alhameret, High Arbiter, Legendary Creature Sphinx, 5-5 five, five for 7, flying as Alhameret. High Arbiter enters the battlefield, each opponent reveals his or her hand, you choose the name of a non-land card revealed this way. Your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. Oh, that is no fun. Alright, put that over there. And a foil, Ring Warden Owl, with a Swamp. An E.J. Spellerin, who is a fan, or Belerin, how would you say that? And who is a fan of Jace? Leave a note in the comments. So put that in the Origins pile. Next, War of the Spark. Okay, we got a Contentious Plan. Blind Blast. Battlefield Promotion. Kaya's ghost form. Jaya's greeting! Hello, Jaya! It's been a while since I've seen you. Unlikely aid. Avon Eternal. Sarkhan's catharsis! There he is, doing a bit of weeding in his backyard. Always fun. Bloom Hulk. Uncommon's Mayhem Devil. Dovin's Veto. We get a Wanderer Planeswalker card. And the rare is actually a Mythic! It's the flying Rudy Crabman fellow, Rolesque Apex Hybrid. They're doing a creature human muti mutant. Four, five for five mana. Flying and trample. And when it enters Birdfield, put two plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control. And when it dies, proliferate. Then proliferate again. Not the best mythic, but we'll take it nevertheless. And a foil devouring Hellion. With a planes and a zombie army. Okay. Hour of Devastation, also known as Hour of Devastating Your Wallet. Whose wallet was devastated by this set back in the day? I must admit, I opened far too many packs of this, hunting for the elusive lottery cards, those invocations. Alright, we have Avon Reed Stalker, Act of Heroism. 
Puncturing Blow, Oasis Ritualist, Marauding Bone, Slasher, Oketra's Avenger, Gift of Strength, Crush Through, Strategic Planning, Wall of Forgotten Furrows, Uncommon Sinuous, Sinuous Striker, Words are hard people, Farm to Market, Sun Scourge Champion, and rare is Swarm Intelligence, Enchantment for 7. Whenever you cast Sense and all Sorcery spell, you may copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. And a Mountain and a Cat Token, okay. Back to Origins again. So I think it's the baby Jace is what we're looking for here. Fingers crossed, we start off with Dragon Fodder, Yoked Ox, Dead Bridge Shaman, Cobble Root, Might of the Masses, Screeching Scarb, Bellows Lizard, Leaf Gilder, Topan Freeblade, Ring Warden Owl, Uncommon's Warhorn, Clash of Wills, Ram Roller, what the heck is that? <laughs> And the rare is Orbs of Warding, Artifact for 5. You have Hexproof. If a creature would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Okay, and a Plains and a bit about the Gatherer. Personally, I prefer Scryfall. Leave a note in the comments what your preferred magic card lookup tool is. Okay, Kaladesh next. And looking for the juicy goodness in this one, but we start off with the terror of the fairgrounds creature, Gremlin. Thriving Ibex, select for inspection. A tune with Ether. That was a fun one back in the day, didn't it get banned? Subtle Strike, Glass Blower's Puzzle Knot, Rush of Vitality, Malfunction, an Aradara Express, Giant Spectacle. Uncommon's Oval Chase, Daredevil, Cloud Blazer, Whirler Maker, and a Mythic, yes! It's the Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, Artifact Creature Construct, 4-5, for five, for 5 mana with Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield, each player chooses an Artifact, a Creature, an Enchantment, and a Planeswalker from among the non-land permanents he or she controls, then sacrifices the rest. Alright, very cool, Paul. And a planes and a thopter token. Okay, so we got two mythics. Pretty good. Not the craziest mythic there. I think this one's much better. All right, Zendikar. Let's go. Still got a chance for some crazy pulls, and I got to be careful opening these packs. These are pretty old, apparently. Who remembers Zendikar? Not Battle for Zendikar, but the original Zendikar. Did you play back in the day? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, we have a Savage Silhouette, Reckless Scholar, Highland Berserker, Vampire Lacerator, Soaring Seacliff, Core Hookmaster, Desecrated Earth, Caller of Gales, Kraken Hatchling, Ondu Cleric and Uncommon's Quest for the Grave Lord. I think that's a cool name for a card. Sounds like a DD &D campaign. Muraza Pyromancer. Hellfire Mongrel. And the rare is Balaged Thief. Creature, human, rogue, ally, 2 2 for 4. Whenever Balaged Thief or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, target player. Reveals a number of cards from his or her hand equal to the number of allies you control. You choose one of them that player discards that card. Do you know the deal with the ally thing? Leave a note in the comments. And that swamp is just so cool, so I'm going to chuck that in as well. And a beast token. Okay. So there we go. Steppley, thank you for being a patron once again. We'll gather this stuff up. We'll put the mythic on the top there for you. Alright, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.